Good morning everyone, Jay here. I just wanted to showcase real quick the current project that I'm working on. It's a 112 scale scratch build uh, Cobra vehicle. It's going to be a companion to my HasLab Hiss whenever it gets here. It's going to be in the same black and red color scheme. Uh, you can see I've done some of the external uh, parts painted, primed and painted with a first coat of red. Uh, so you need to turn them over and do another, another coat. And then here's the main body. It's made up of about uh, about 97% styrene and a few found parts uh, like plastic bottle caps things like that uh, and some gimbal parts actually from model kits that I found uh, at a garage sale and you can see some of the styrene still exposed there there's the underbelly I'm gonna add some detail to it there I wish I hadn't already primed the bottom uh, so I can actually I can go back in and sand it down and re-add some stuff to it you can also see here that the storage compartments on the side uh, open and close. I was going to do all this originally just 100% styrene hinges things like that and the glue uh, but I kind of cheated and I had this uh, bag of, of small small uh, like jewelry box hinges uh, and I'm probably just going to keep on using those uh, kind of cuts down on some of the, the build time and here's going to be a bracket that's going to hold a, a spare tire a spare wheel and uh, it's just going to fit inside the the wheel well right there uh, this paint isn't been hasn't cured and hasn't had a top coat yet so I kind of just don't want to scrape it up too bad but it's going to notch into this peg and then the two other pegs right there slide into the bracket and it sits pretty securely. It's actually going to be kind of a tight fit once the paint's actually all on there and it's primed and, and sealed with a top coat. And then still got to do a whole lot of extra priming so I didn't get all the recesses. This is the canopy in the top. You can see where the windows are going to be. I've taped off some parts and still need to go over the bottom part and spray paint it. The canopy's uh, hatch opens and closes, and you can see some of the detail there. This is going to be a gunner's uh, nest, a turret, and it spins independently. See the turret spinning on there. It'll be able to house one uh, one trooper. This was kind of found parts, and it turned out really good though. So I'm going to do a whole lot of more painting and priming, and I'm going to actually glue this onto the top of the vehicle. It's not going to be uh, modular or come apart like the last vehicle for the most part. Um, but the size out turn, size turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. And it's going to be based on the old, well they have some nowadays, but they're mostly they're, they were popular during World War II in Korea, these um, uh, combat armored scout cars. Uh, everyone was kind of racing to manufacture at the end of World War II. Um, but here it is. Here's what I've got done so far. It's the 112 scale Cobra Hognose is what I'm going to be calling it. Uh, Hognose is a type of snake with a, with a blunt nose. So I thought the nose, I thought that name was pretty uh, fitting. Uh, this vehicle has never existed in a toy line or in the cartoon or anything like that. It's uh, totally made up and like I said just based on the old armored scout cars but thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day